Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm David Mathis. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for all the support you're giving myself, the channel, um, the content. I really appreciate it. If you would, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification button if you are enjoying the content on the channel. Today I want to talk about sugar alcohols. What they are, um, where we can find them, how do we calculate them into our macro goals for the day. So let's start off, what is a sugar alcohol? Well, sugar alcohol is just a sweetener that is added to products to lower the calories, right? So to replace the natural sugars in it, they add these sugar alcohols that lower the calories, but still give you the benefit and the taste and enjoyment of the product. What are some common ones, uh, out sugar alcohols that we see? Um, Zorbitol, Xylitol, Manitol, um, things like this that you will see on the label on things like gum, sugar-free gum, um, sugar-free low-calorie energy drinks like Monster Zeros, Bangs, things along those lines. Um, there's sugar alcohols in cookies, in pop, in candy, in energy bars, protein bars that we consume. So they are in a lot of things that we eat in order to try to cut the calories down um, and label them as low-calorie or sugar-free, right? Are they harmful? Well, they're not necessarily harmful to our body when eaten in moderation, but that's anything, guys. If you are going to go overboard on anything, it is going to harm the body, right? So you can safely consume sugar alcohols. Don't steer away from them, don't shy away from them, um, but also don't make your diet solely based on products that are full of sugar alcohols, right? You want a well-balanced, um, whole food, nutritious diet. But if you want that protein bar, if you want that sugar-free energy drink, right? If you want that piece of gum, go ahead and do it. Don't fear it. Um, you're going to be okay. So how do we go about factoring sugar alcohols into our macros? Well, they're not free calories, all right, guys? They do count, but they just don't count as much as regular uh, carbohydrates do. So let's use this example. Let's say something has 20 grams of sugar alcohol in it, okay? What you do is you divide that by two and you get 10 grams that will be counted towards carbs, okay? So a normal carb is four calories per gram, correct? Right, we all know that. Um, so basically what this sugar alcohol does is it cuts that number in half, okay? Um, this is very helpful because like I said before, it still allows the product that we're trying to consume to taste good, but it doesn't give us all those extra added calories that like normal sugar, normal carbohydrates would. So you have to factor this in to your macros. So the example I just used, you've got the 20 grams of sugar alcohol, divide that by two, you can actually add 10 grams of carbohydrates onto your intake. So that's how you go about factoring that into your macro targets for the day. Like I said, there's nothing to worry about with sugar alcohols. Um, they're not going to harm you negatively. You do want to make sure you're doing them in moderation, though, but that's anything, like I said before. Um, don't make your diet solely based on products with sugar alcohol. Um, but if you want to, go ahead and have pe that piece of gum. Have that protein bar. Have that piece of candy. Um, it's not going to kill you. Sugar alcohols are often misunderstood, and people kind of count them as just freebies. They are not freebies, guys. Use what I just told you to calculate them, throw them into your macro goal, count them towards your macro goal. Um, you might be limiting your fat loss right now because you're not factoring this stuff in. So you might not be as uh, much in a deficit as you kind of think you are. So all these little things add up, all these little things matter. Um, make sure that you are putting them towards your macro goal so that you can achieve your goal efficiently, effectively, and as quickly as possible, right? Um, but hopefully that sheds a little light on what sugar alcohols are, some of them that you can look for, how to calculate them and add them into your macros. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, short video today, but I think it's a very important topic because nowadays we do eat a lot of packaged foods and a lot of things that are sugar-free or low-calorie that have these sugar alcohols in them. And it's important that we all know what they are, if they really affect our bodies, and how to calculate them into our macros. Guys, have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful or the other content on my channel. I'd really appreciate it. You guys take care, and I'll be catching you next time.